Nigel Pearson had two options today. He could apologise for swearing at a fan or he could tough it out. Well, he chose to tough it out. Sometimes, at the moment, these things happen. Um, but uh, um, there certainly won't be any apology, let's put it like that. Don't you think people earn the right when they buy a season ticket to shout at the players and at you if things are going wrong? Depends on how they do it. And they've got to be prepared for, uh, they can't then bleat on about it if they get a taste of their own medicine. So if, they, if, if, they, if that chap had done it politely, you'd have been OK? Possibly. What's your message to the fans that will be travelling to watch Leicester? Um, as I've just said to you, get behind the players as they, as they always do. I'm sure that they will. Thank you. And that's self-explanatory, I would have thought. He says he's had run-ins with fans before, but now he wants to move on. He also revealed that the owners had had some abuse from box holders. I find it incredible that, that um, anybody could question the integrity of the commitment of our owners. Um, I think it's nothing short of disgraceful, if I'm honest. Despite just two points from 27, Pearson's happy with his team's performances, if not the results, and he's no worries about being vocal in their defence. If people were offended by what happened, then, you know, in some ways that is regrettable, but I certainly don't, um, uh, th th there's certainly no need for me to apologise to somebody uh, of that ilk, and that's the top and bottom of it, as far as I'm concerned. A fighting fox, but can he survive? All managers at the bottom are vulnerable, and with Tony Pulis available, whoever sacks their manager first probably gets Pulis. Jeremy Nicholas, East Midlands Today, Leicester.